So I wanted to go over my Ubuntu install from today's live stream. I did about a three hour live stream where I kind of took a base Ubuntu and built it exactly how I want it. Now, most people that follow the channel know I use Arch Linux, I've used Ubuntu, I've used pretty much every Linux distribution in existence. <laughs> There's very few I haven't touched. Um, I have touched every single major distribution branch in Linux, and I understand them very well. So when I look at distributions and I say distribution doesn't matter, it's really a matter of how long it takes you to configure it to your needs. But out of every single one that I've tried, uh, the whole gist of yesterday's video was this. They're all pretty bad for me out of the box. All of them kind of do the things I want, but there's certain ones that bug me uh, depending on which one I go to. But the end story is this, when I went to install Ubuntu today, here's the steps I followed. I, I took Ubuntu server. So it was a complete CLI experience, complete command line experience. And I did a daily dev build of, uh, you know, uh, Focal Fossa Ubuntu 20, because that's the latest and greatest. And I wanted to be more on that edge of things when it comes to Ubuntu as a base. And most people would go, well, why don't you just install Debian? And the answer to this is very simply, well, a lot of people know I don't like Ubuntu because of a lot of the stuff that it comes with. And the two major things with Ubuntu that I always gripe about is, one, I don't like the built-in GNOME desktop environment. Two, I don't like a lot of the bundled software. I think they put too much software on there. And then three, there's a reliance on snaps. But having said that, that's just a, a gripe of mine specific to Ubuntu. There's plenty of other distributions that don't have that. But at the same time, I can use Ubuntu just like I use Arch. Uh, there's some exceptions there. I can't install packages as easy as just saying, hey, yay, dash S, install whatever package, and it builds it from the AUR. But at the same time, that's okay. Everything works out great. I absolutely love uh, my Linux experience at the end of the day, no matter what distribution I'm on. And really, uh, when I say distribution doesn't matter, it's that. Whatever you're trying to do, I see too many times people say, well, I can't do this on this type of distribution. And that means you just don't know how to use Linux well enough to do that. And I, of course, the devil's advocate here, will, it'll, you know, their rebuttal will be, well, you shouldn't have to do that. That distribution should just be able to do everything you want it to do. And while that's great and all, none of these distributions are all that great. As a Windows user, as a lifetime Windows user coming to Linux, none of these distributions really satisfied my needs. And what I got back from the community was, well, you should just distro hop or you should just check out all these different ones and none of them really suit my needs. And really what I needed to do was learn more about Linux. And my experience with Ubuntu 20 has been fantastic because I know a lot about Linux. Now, having said that, let's get into the actual build of Ubuntu 20, because what did I do here? I took the basic Ubuntu server build. Um, I put a minimal Mate spin on it. So just uh, Mate Core was the package I used, and I used Task uh, Select to do this, but you could also use APT, it doesn't matter. Uh, both very easy to use. This puts the base underlying thing in there. Not too many packages. The packages out of the gate, I, it was about 1,100 as far as the total packages once fully loaded with the desktop environment. Now, most people know I do like window managers. And really, as a Windows user coming to Linux and why I can never go back to Windows is because of Windows managers. I'm just saying right now. You take any window manager, you learn all the hotkeys, you learn all your shortcuts and you have everything exactly where you want it, you're going to be so stinking efficient and you're just going to be so fast. It's just uh, so, you know, eye opening. It's amazing. So I love all window managers because of this and it makes me a better computer user. So at the end of the day, I just want to be the best computer user that is. If that was Windows, I would use Windows. If that was Mac, I would use Mac. But at the end of the day, it's Linux. And it's Linux because of window managers. It's because I'm able to customize Linux to exactly what I want. To when, where I'm on Windows, it's a completely different experience. 
So with Ubuntu, I installed Mate and I installed Awesome Window Manager. I copied all my config files over. Um, the only hiccup I had or the bumps in the road from that live stream was Light DM. The display manager was very, very um, kind of geared around the theming I was using with WebKit 2 and also uh, the theme was meant really to be installed on Arch Linux, so that required me to edit some comp files and, and get all that working. And how Light DM worked in Ubuntu's iteration of it, and how it worked out of a Light DM's iteration was a little bit different because the config files were in different places, and I was not aware of that on that live stream where I was, you know, editing the comp file and etc. And then uh, I realized in Ubuntu there was a user uh, or USR, you know, where the system resources are. Uh, under I think local share or uh, bin and then it was like light DM or something of that nature I, but I read the white paper from that and I was able to modify everything so you log in and uh, it's kind of funny on this Ubuntu install you'll log in and see this so here is my startup uh, I need to do a silent command under the prefixes to remove this to where it would just be a black screen um, or just maybe a grub prompt but uh, either way, I could completely black that out. As you see, we have this. Now, this theme was meant for Arch Linux. Even though I am using Ubuntu, I went ahead and modified it and just went ahead and slapped it on here. So we'll go ahead and log in to Awesome Window Manager. And you'll see pretty much all my stuff is loaded up and ready to go. I have my Synology drive with all my sync on it. I reattached all my drives. I just copied over my F stab and my monitor configuration so I can mirror two displays as one's for the capture and then one is for the actual desktop environment. Um, all of my hotkeys are here. So I have my terminal hotkey. I have my file manager, which all of it is exactly how it was on my Arch install. Uh, I haven't installed my gaming yet, but I will. No, no issue there. And uh, the rest of this is pretty much there and set. Uh, this was a bit of a longer install, probably about two to three hours. Uh, but overall, I absolutely love this setup. Just as much as I love my Arch, I am now in Ubuntu. And guess what? I'm enjoying this. And uh, just to show you that, I will go ahead and do a little Neo fetch and kind of just show you how I've run things. Obviously it's an awesome window manager, which I've just talked about. We're using Focal Fossa, the dev branch, because it's still in beta. And uh, we run a little bit over 2000 packages here. So uh, not too heavy uh, compared to other things. We're at 673 megs of memory used. If we do an HTOP, you'll see it's a little bit more or less, which is 647 to 650 megs used in my desktop. So yeah, there is a very minimal Ubuntu install that uh, looks exactly like my Arch. So when I say distribution doesn't matter, you really need to customize your distribution to your needs. If you don't know how to customize a Linux distribution, you're probably gonna end up using Windows or Mac. And as you see here, it feels, it looks identical to how it was when I was going from Arch to Ubuntu. And the takeaway is I will always use my systems how I want to. And that's the power of Linux. When I say distribution doesn't matter, it's because too many people get stuck on the distribution side of things and they never explore what Linux actually is. It's not some company, it's not some distribution. It is literally the, the idea you can take any piece of it and, and make it your own. And that's exactly what I did with my Ubuntu install. Am I gonna wipe this install out? No, I'm gonna keep this install. I'm gonna be probably running it for the next six months. Um, so there you are. Uh, I, I wanted to just make this as a follow-up from yesterday's video. And if you'd like to see that whole three hour, go over to Chris Titus Tech Streams. Um, it is a longer stream, so it's about three hours long. You can flip through it, see where we started with the Arch system and the transition and how I gradually installed and did everything in Ubuntu to make it mirror exactly what it was in Arch. But, uh, you know, check it out if, if you're interested in that, in my Ubuntu 20 experience. It's definitely a unique experience, but it's my experience and it is fantastic. So, with that, let me know your, your thoughts down in the comments section and a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one and I'll see you in the next one.